Hello and welcome to my channel on human design. So today we're going to go into the gate of black magic and by black magic I am referring of course to gate 48. One of the most frustrating gates in the entire body graft. The 48 is something that will take the perfected patterns in the 1858 and find a way of using them for a solution for everyone, something that can be shared to all people. That is the idea anyway. We've got the critical awareness in the 18, seeing what's wrong in the pattern. We've got the juice coming from the gate of the love of life in the 58, the gate of joy, going, come on, you know, challenge authority if it's not uh, doing the right thing. Come on, we can we can change it. We can make it easier. We can make it better. We can make it um, so much more streamlined that we can then enjoy the openness that that brings us to live our life. So these patterns that are collected by the 48, um, the 48 is also regarded in the I Ching as the hexagram of the well. There's only two um, objects as such represented by the hexagrams in, uh, in the, the uh, I Ching. And this is one of them. So this is about depth and it's about the depth of the logical solutions. So when we're talking about black magic, we imagine you take a video camera and you film a chieftain in the in the deep recesses of the jungle somewhere where they're not used to the modern technology. And you show the tribal elder on a screen so that everyone can see outside, you know, in large. It's like, wow, this is like magic. It's black magic because they don't understand the the concept of film and uh, transmission and uh, projection onto a screen. So it seems like magic. So in that sense, it's magic because the tech behind it is unknown, inconceivable, never been thought of. Wow, just look at that. But it's black magic in another way, if we look deeper into it. So let's go in. 48 has as its first line the gate of insignificance. It says, well, look, I've, I've, I've found a solution, but who's going to listen to me? You know, who's going to listen to me? You know, I've got the solution, but no one's going to believe me because they don't know me. So how are they going to know me? Well, if I get the skills in the 16th gate that the 48 always looks to, if I get that, if I get the skills and they identify with the future and they identify with being someone who can speak the solutions and get noticed and get the funds necessary to run the experiment to be able to prove that their solution actually works repeatedly again and again and again. That's the way it goes. So when you think about people and logical solutions and in our current times, you think about technology. It's not always tech. I'm not saying it's always tech, but it's certainly the way we're heading. It's uh, it's a lot about tech. It's a lot about formulations and um, the underpinning of something that can then make things easier or more streamlined or more utilitarian. But logic doesn't care about the people so much. It should do, but it doesn't. Not these days. You know, the the solutions for the common good is how it's written in the Ray V. Ching. But think about it. Most of the scientists in the world, 97% or so of them, are employed by big corporations. And the corporate ethos isn't about the common good for everyone. It's about the common good for the shareholders. So you've got 97 percent of people. Let's say the 97 percent of 48s out there with all their solutions, you know, are being employed by corporations for their own agendas. 
The 48 is part of the stream of taste that goes from the 58 all the way to the 16. It's a very discerning taste. For the well to become deep, it needs time. It needs time to really get the solutions right, to distinguish between what is necessary and what isn't necessary, what is superfluous. Let's cut away that because we're going to be more streamlined. It's going to be better if we just use this. So there is also built into this stream a certain ruthlessness, you could say, in that it's this, not that. It's this according to the taste, according to the agenda. And if it's profit motivated, as it is in the current times, then a lot of the experiments that are run, a lot of the, the solutions that are brought out are brought out not necessarily for the good of the people. And in that sense, the, the streamlining can actually be something that takes away resources from some of the people in order for the greater idea, the greater good. So there will be technology that has been developed perhaps over the last 70 years or so, or maybe even longer, that the people don't know about. But the people that are making this stuff, that are testing this stuff, that are running experiments, they don't want everyone to know because they have their own agenda. And this side of the gate of black magic should concern us all. <laughs> Think about the over-identification in the 16, the future projection of logic, because logic always looks to the future. The future logic of, look, if I learn these skills, then they will listen to me and, you know, I will learn them. So what we get here in the uh, personal sense of living the life are people that run around doing one workshop after another, after another, after another, you know, acquiring skills for that fit with their depth. And then they do another one and then they do another one and then they do another one and they can't really remember what they did in the first one. You know, so there's a there's a lot of um, potential uh, addiction in terms of being caught on a track that you can't get out of. Think about the way logic likes to link things together, both in the formulations towards an answer and the building of um, machinery and gadgetry, you know, the blueprints that are needed. You know, this is the plan. This is the plan. Let's follow the plan and get to where we're going, because logic is always on the move into the future to get somewhere. And because it wants to get somewhere and it has its own agenda, of course, it doesn't care about the people who don't want to get there, who don't like that taste. Indeed, they are the enemies of the projected future and the pattern that the 48 wants to get to. So there is inherently a certain danger to everyone, as well as a great positive effect to everyone, due to the depth that is gathered over time in the well of intuitive problem solving, intuitive solution collecting. Because logic will see things in terms of, is it a problem? And if it's a problem, how do we find the solution? And let's apply the solution. But a problem to one set of people is not a problem at all to another set of people. In fact, they rather like it. You know, they might rather like the, the greenery and the wild nature that the utilitarian viewpoint doesn't like because it's messy. <laughs> and he wants to have everything streamlined, as I've said. So there is this, this play, when you think about black magic, what is hidden, what is not known, what is technologically advanced, uh, in this current age, you know, is it really for the good of the people? Is it really something that um, is advantageous to the human race or not? And think about logic and think about the way that it is 
linked from one thing to another. So you can get a whole lot of scientists compartmentalized into a much larger structure. And they're working on their little bit of tech. And they they want to do good. You know, they want to do good. They want to help the people. They want to bring the solution. They want to work out what the solution is to the problem that they've got at their technical level. Unaware, perhaps, that there's another group working on another side of it, and they don't know what the first group are doing. And the two together can create something that's really rather nasty, if you're not careful, like weapons or whatever it may be. There is this side of it as well. So we know that in the future, it is really transparency that becomes the major important theme, not the black magic not the hidden side to be able to provide a way forward that can help everyone and that's transparency because to include the will of the people to lead where the people want to go rather than where the corporations want to go it's a bit of a pickle isn't it really when you think about it because there is also this side when you're thinking about logic and you're thinking about the energy of what logic is and you think about the ninth gate in the sacral this is the ability or the power to really go into the small details and work at all that that incremental level well no ninth gate really wants to go into something you know that's going to take a long time working out all the details unless they've got a big grant and if they've got a grant and they've got enough funding for the next three years, well, then it's worth it. Then they'll go for it. Then there's energy to actually do it. And there's backing to be able to be paid for doing it. And again, it's going to be the big corporations of today's times that are going to have the grant money to be able to do that. So if you're a 48 and you have a solution that is against the taste of those that are funding it they're not going to want you to succeed they won't give you the funding all those wonderful people out there that are discovering what we can do with magnets and free energy and uh, how to really clean up the um, the environment in a in a healthy sustainable way they're not going to get a lot of money they're going to have to find someone or some corporation or some company or some philanthropist who really goes, you know, I want to do it in a good way for everyone. Now, that's a nice mix for the 48 to work through those people. They won't be paid as much, but they will do a lot more good in the long run. And when you're thinking in terms of the long run, please remember that the 48 is something that uh, anyone who has it will know this. They're people that really prefer the short term projects where they can see a result early on. As I said, it's a very frustrating thing to have the 48 in one's, one's chart because, you know, you do need juice. You do need juice to be able to run the experiment and you can have all the solutions you like. If no one's backing you, you can't get it built. You can't show the experiment to everyone so everyone can see it. And when you think about it, when you think about logic and you think about the uh, the channel of the Alpha, the 731, to lead for good or for bad, the lead is the path they set out logically to go forward, you know, towards a better future. But sometimes that better future can actually be a much worse future. If they haven't taken into account the diversity and the importance of the diversity of life on this planet. The things that are cut away in the discernment process, the things that are deemed not important, can be the very things that we need. So if you're a 48, I uh, I understand, you know, this, this is this movement of, you know, you, you got the solution, but sometimes you can't say it. Not only because you don't have the qualification, but really because it's, it's like you can't see it all the way to the end. You've just got this little bit. 
And if you're trying to restructure the way things are going, then you know you're going to need a a more wide base view. And then comes time for action. And then in the I Ching, it says we get to the point of self-fulfillment at an internal level, at a personal level. This is a very, very useful gate to have because of the depth solutions, because they really can bring positive results for you who have it and for your friends who, who can benefit from it. In a material world, you know, people have solutions and they want, you know, they, they need to sustain themselves materially. So who out there has the funds and would be willing to back the solutions that you have? Yeah, these are the people that want to back you that may not think it a good idea to end world poverty or to turn the deserts green to have free energy to do all the things we can already do there are so many things there are so many solutions that already exist and have existed for a very long time but you don't see them being applied so in the new future it's really about those people to stand up and go you know i'm going to invest in those solutions according to my taste and my taste is to do with how we can make the world better, not make the shareholders richer. It's a matter of values at the end of the day. It's a matter of taste. And it's, about, it's a matter of being able to just appreciate what we've already got in the natural world without trying to take from it and twist from it and manipulate it and make something better the nature which is going on with a lot of the um, experiments at the moment for those of you who have the 48 just as uh, Ra'uru who had the 40 the 48th gate let those with the skills come to find you because of your depth rather than you keep going out trying to get the skills that you don't have let the skilled people who fit with your solution come to you they're already looking for you that is the easiest and best way to really increase your depth of solutions over time to collect those perfected patterns you know to have it ready for the right person and the right people to come to you and then together we begin to change the world in a more positive way and of course, human design could be included in the category of black magic for those people that don't know the deep science of human design. You know, how do you know that about me? And, and where does that come from? And so Ra taught us to be transparent in the way that we do readings so that we include the client in what we're doing, in what we're seeing. We're showing them, look, at, you've got this, which means this and this and this. And that's part of your characteristics. You know, do you recognize it? Yes, I do. Fantastic. OK, let's move on. What else is there there? So we include them in it so that it's not black magic. So it's shown so they can see what's behind it, that it really is a science. And in my view, I think all science to a certain extent should be that to include people in the process to some level. Now, of course, if you're looking at uh, rocket science or something, well, it's difficult because you need all that, all the calculations, all the understanding that comes before that. So not so easy, but everything can be simplified. This is the wonderful thing about good logic. It can take a complicated concept and bring it down to a few simple steps depending on the audience of the people that are, are wanting to understand it. And the same with human design. You speak to the clients in their own language and you interpret the knowledge. Rather than just repeating what Ra said, you interpret it so it can be understood. Logic is about understanding. It, it is, after all, the understanding circuit. If you can understand it and you can get the logic, then it isn't black anymore. It's just very, very interesting <laughs> and very, very useful and very practical, which is why I love it. 
Okay, I hope you enjoyed that. And if you did, please like and share and subscribe. And I will be back again very soon with something completely different. Bye for now.